uh, just recently in uh, in Bhutan, in Bhutan they had for the first time for them that they actually organized full ordination for women this year, this year 2022. So I'm very happy. But they belong to different uh, tradition. They belong to Mula Sarawas Divada. But I'm very happy because they also didn't have didn't have the lineage. In, in Myanmar, in the countries that you mentioned, Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia, they are waiting for us because we are, how to say, influencing each other. Now, I hear that in Cambodia, they start having women ordained. Uh, some, some of them educated from Western countries, you know, from United States, you know. One, two, three cases, I have already seen the photo of Pikunis, Cambodian Pikunis ordained. Yes, I think slowly, slowly it will happen. In the year 1999, I met the Sangharaja. They have two Sangharajas, you know, the one who was the present king's teacher, that one. Uh, he actually talked to me and he said that, you know, if uh, he should find the, the donchis, the local donchis, local nuns, they were called donchis. Uh, if the local donchis, Cambodian donchis, would like to be Pikuni, he is willing even to build a temple for them. This is what he said, you know, way back in 1999. Uh, so I, th I think the women themselves, you know, if the women themselves are ready, come forward, it is possible. Among these, these three countries, I think Cambodia already starting, starting to have women ordained. Not yet Laos and not yet Myanmar. In Myanmar, I know one particular uh, woman, she was ordained together with me, same time, same year, 2003. Uh, she was studying for PhD in Sri Lanka. But when she went back to Myanmar, she was kind of uh, asking, asking the Sangha to accept her. You know, so uh, the Sangha refused and they wanted her to sign the paper that she is not a Pikuni. She said she cannot because she is a Pikuni. So they put her in prison for 76 days. <laughs> she was in prison for six, 76 days. But her sister, her elder sister, eventually helped her out, you know, and then she moved from uh, Myanmar to United States. And eventually, I'm sorry to say, she disrobed. But her sister, her elder sister, is still ordained, still ordained as a seminary and doing social work quietly in, in Rangoon.